Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Carlson from the Riverside Animal Clinic and Holistic Center. I'm going to talk about biofilm today. And the analogy is this was what came out of our dishwasher. And all these little holes are where the water comes out and sprays onto the, the dishes. Uh, but sometimes debris, organic debris, can get trapped in these little crevices. And you see right in here, if we show the light, you can Ew. see it, a little bit of that stuff. Now what that is is organic material, but that's where bacteria like biofilm can grow because nothing is getting to that part. We have to take it out once a week and clean it and make sure that that gets cleaned up so it doesn't build up and, and form a bacteria. Uh, dog teeth are no different. This is Lily, my little uh, Sheltie. And good saliva, if we look at her mouth, we can see that her teeth are in pretty good shape. Uh, they're pretty nice and bright. We can see a nice clean sheen over here, but just like the uh, uh, the agitator on the on the dishwasher, you can see a little bit of that debris right there. Now, if that stays there long enough, that could form bacteria and colonize that little piece of gum, and then that can cause gum infection. Diet's really important too. Highly processed foods have a tendency to encourage biofilm and a poor quality saliva, so. Just like the dishwasher, if you have a bad quality water coming in, you're going to get a lot more bacteria forming on that, on the mechanical parts, same way with dog's teeth as well. So clean your dog's teeth every day. It takes about a minute, just a little agitation on the outside of the gums and teeth to make sure that that biofilm stays under control and we have a nice healthy saliva. Thanks so much.